On the night of December 15, 1811, residents described the air as unusually thick, almost oppressive. Families went to sleep as they normally would, unaware that within hours, their world would be violently shaken. The Mississippi River, usually a calm and reliable force, flowed quietly past their homes, hiding the immense power that was gathering beneath the earth. There were no warnings, no seismic instruments, and no prior experiences in this region to hint at the destruction about to strike. Then in the early hours of December 16th, the first great shock hit. The epicenter lay in present day Northeast Arkansas, but the shaking radiated for hundreds of miles, affecting areas far beyond New Madrid. People described the ground moving in waves, snapping mature trees, and throwing sand and water from fissures that opened across the landscape. Even distant observers reported hearing loud thunder-like noises that seemed to roll across the land. For the inhabitants of the Mississippi Valley, this was an incomprehensible and terrifying event. The earth itself had come alive and the frontier would never feel the same again.